Hi guys and welcome back to Station Tutorials. Today I have an interesting little tip that you can utilize to make footage look naturally handheld. Sometimes that's not something you're going for, sometimes it is. It can be a really powerful effect when you shoot something on a tripod, add your special effects or graphics and animation into the clip, and then enhance that a little bit further by adding a handheld effect so it looks like it's naturally integrated into the motion in the footage. For example, I just have some stock footage here that I shot uh, of an overpass downtown LA at night. I'm gonna show you how to make this naturally look like it was shot handheld. I've done another tutorial before utilizing the aftershake effect to kind of give the frame a little motion. Now, that effect tends to be a little bit unnatural looking. It, it, it tends to be, it looks a little automated and artificial. Whereas what I'm going to show you today is completely natural because it's tracking data that's been taken from actual handheld footage. So there's no more real than real. All right, let's get going here. So I have two shots here and I just used a tracking marker. You could shoot uh, any random footage and just pick an item that's in the shot itself. You don't have to take the time to put up a tracking marker, but just for the purposes of this tutorial, I decided why not make it pretty straightforward here. This one's a little bit closer, kind of like a half medium shot. And then uh, this one's a little further away. So I wanted to try it at two different distances to see if the motion is going to be different. If the focal point in your shot that you want to be handheld is a lot closer, then you probably want whatever you're tracking in your handheld footage that you're taking that tracking data from to be about the same distance as the focal point in your shot that you're trying to make handheld, if that makes sense. Let's go to the motion tracking tab and we're going to track motion just enough to kind of grab some corners here. All right, great. And now we're gonna track forward. And this footage was just shot with a cell phone camera, by the way. That's why it looks like complete crap. So you don't need a great camera to take the tracking data from. I mean, you don't need to go shooting your tracking data footage on a red or something like that. That's definitely would not be necessary. So as long as you can make it out and track it, it will suffice. All right, so let's grab some of this LA overpass footage here. I'm just going to mark off... Uh, in and out just enough here and we will throw this into our comp okay great so as you can see this overpass footage is smooth as butter I mean there's no motion at all it was tripoded and left for I think I did like 15 minutes or something like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take this track here and we're gonna edit the target and we're gonna apply it to the LA overpass okay and then hit apply, X and Y, okay. And now you will see that our handheld data that we just took from the marker will be applied to this clip. We'll analyze where our frame is kind of landing. So everything's going up in that corner. Let's hit A to bring up the anchor point and we'll just adjust here a little bit. We're inevitably going to have to scale this up ever so slightly. Okay, good, that's pretty good there. So let's scale this up to, let's just go 105. You don't wanna to go too far and then make sure nothing's missing. There we go. Okay, cool. That handheld effect has been applied to that clip. Now that one was pretty subtle. As you can see, I have another comp uh, over here that I took with a one-handed shot that's a little bit more wild. Now you don't wanna force the fact that it's handheld because then it will look artificial unless you're shooting Cloverfield or something. You know, you just want it to be as natural as possible. So this works for this shot here. The handheld effect's very, very subtle. I could probably even get away with scaling this down a little bit more. Um, you obviously want the scale to be as minimal as possible. So let's go to the one-handed shot. And as you can see, this one is a little bit more wild. So let's go ahead and track this. Track motion, do the same thing here. Great, and track forward. 
All right, so edit the target, LA overpass, okay, and apply, and apply. Okay, so this one's a little bit more wild. As you can see, it takes off towards the end here a lot. Um, again, let's bring up the anchor, bump that a little bit. And this is just so you don't have to expand your footage by so much. You kind of find a home base for it to sit, then expand it. So it looks like we're riding to that side a little bit more. All right, and then let's punch in. Let's do 105 again, see if that does the trick. And then let's scrub through. Good, good, safe. Okay, we're losing a little bit there. Bring up the anchor. Try and save that there. We're gonna have to scale it up a little bit more. Let's do 110. Now this handheld effect has been applied to this clip. So this is just a trick to apply a natural looking handheld effect to your footage. This works especially well when you add any effects or animation into your footage and then put a handheld effect on top of that. It really helps sell and kind of make your effects seem a lot more seamlessly integrated into your scene if all the motion looks a lot more natural. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for this tip today and I'll catch you guys next time.